All right, so <coughs> I only have one slide. So that's it. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is you. I've seen you guys raise your hands. Most of you are using a tool that looks like this uh, called uh, Air Magnet Survey Professional. And this is typically what you do. You click on it, if you can. Dang it, nervous hands. And you change the attenuation to this. Apply the whole wall. OK. And you do that again and again and again. And while you're sitting there looking at it like this, clicking away, your wife is saying, hey, come on. It's 9 o'clock. Come back. And you've wasted hours upon hours. And I know most of you guys are doing some sort of RF design with a predictive tool, and you're validating it. And sometimes you'll, you'll do a bunch of stuff and figure out that your entire thing is done, and you have to start all over. Now, this is great for some of you who bill by the hour. Um, <laughs> but it's not good enough for me, because I sit here and I think, there has got to be a better way. So I developed a system that is going to save you time, save you money, and it's going to save your marriage. <laughs> so I started looking into the file that is created, the project file, and it just so happens to be a text file. So uh, let's open up Notepad++. How many of you have uh, used this tool? It's a great tool. OK, good. So this is going to be like familiar territory for you. The nice thing about this is it has really good uh, find and replace mechanism in it that supports regular expressions. So I don't want you guys to get too afraid of this. You can check out my blog. Um, actually, just like Keith said, I use the blog to write notes for myself. And I just so happened linked it. I linked it up to my Twitter account, and it went out onto my Twitter account, and then people started retweeting it. And I was like, oh, crap. Now I have to like, make it look nice. So, and, then, and then Keith contacted me and said, this would be a great 10 talk, so that's why I'm here. Um, but if you were to do a Control F and do a dry wall, you'll see that I have multi multiple instances of this. And for each piece of the dry wall, it'll have like a line 0. You know what? We can uh, make this a little bit easier for some of you. Ooh. Yeah. All right. We're getting fancy in here, I know. OK. So we can do like a, a, a find a drywall instance. And that's OK, but if I were to do a, a drywall find and replace the, the line zeros, I'd still have some left over for the, the line two, you know, when you have like multiple connections to your wall. And what I ended up having to do was use regular expressions to figure out where there is a, a, a carriage return. Oops. Like this. I did that right. Oh, sorry. No, I think that I think I can do that, but Oh yeah, I did. Thank you. Hold on, I'll I'll show you. <laughs> the, the the problem was that you literally had to click each one and change it if, if, you, if you redid them all. So, and this, this works for APs. If you want to change the power or the channel or something like that, you can use this kind of regular expressions to kind of hack it and make it. Because, you know, for those of us who work with some sort of management interface like a cloud controller or a controller or something like that, you can, you know, make changes really quickly. But when you are using the software to design it, you don't want to have to click every single one and, and make those changes. But, so I can, once I have this in there, thanks for catching the extra slash, I can uh, let's zoom out so you can kind of see what's going on. You can see that it's going to go through the document and highlight this plus the extra line. So now I'll type in the other pieces, line 
like this, and you'll see that it highlights both pieces there. So I've got the carriage return in there. And then what I need to do now is put something in there for a digit. And you'll notice that every now and then it'll grab the line one as well there. And then, so I'll finish that up with a property. Okay, so the property is the attenuation value. So that four is something that was too high for a specific environment for my needs. So I wanted to drop that down to either a three or a two. And the way that you do that, um, how many of you are familiar with regular expressions? Okay, cool. Well, now all of you know who to ask when you, this, okay. Don't ask me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what's cool about this is we can uh, s segment this off to um, different sections that we need to uh, replace it with. So, uh, how do I say this? The way the replace tool works is it's either gonna, it's gonna take that, that whole line that I typed in that I was searching for and it's just gonna replace it with one value. But we don't necessarily want that because we need to keep some of the things there like the line zero or the line one. And so the way that we do that is we use parentheses like this. Oh yeah, sorry. How inconsiderate of me. Okay, so I'm pr putting parentheses around here like this. Hopefully I remember I, I remembered this correctly. And I'm gonna put a four here because that's the value that everything is, okay? And the find and replace tool in Notepad++ allows you to you know, rearrange things. So each one of these sections of parentheses that I am using uh, is referenced with a uh, slash one, slash two, slash three, and then you then, because it's gonna take the first parentheses, the second parentheses, and the third parentheses, and then whatever I add on to it's gonna tack it on too. So if I wanna change all the attenuation values like that, click replace all, and you'll notice that all the property values for the, the drywalls have been replaced. So I click File, Save. I'm gonna have to close this and reopen it. No, I don't wanna save that. Oh, dang it. No, now I have to reboot, right? <laughs> this, is, this is another thing. We can split this up into another 10 talk. How to, how to restart this correctly, okay. So, uh, oh, it looks like it's gone, great. And you'll see that all these are now changed to two. So you can use that with you know, your APs, every, everything else, and it just, quick, saves you time, money, and your marriage. Thank you. Yeah.